Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out this uh, typographic poster in Illustrator. Okay, first step, we're going to click on the text. I'm going to write the letter S and I'm going to press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. I'm going to go to Object, Expand, click OK. From here, I'm going to swap this from Fill to Stroke. I'm going to click on these arrows like so. I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to press on delete and I'm going to do the same thing with this ending here. From here I'm going to right click and ungroup it. I need to release compound path. So now we got ungrouped. So select both of these, go to object, go to blend and make. Okay, so now, so basically we're gonna need this center line here, okay? That's what we need. So go to Object, Expand, click OK, right click on Group. I'm gonna remove these from here, so now we're left with the center one. From here I'm gonna go to the Effect 3D, Extrude and Bevel, and I'm gonna decrease the Extrude Depth to zero, and... I'm gonna make the letter S look a little bit more down, you know, to be more dramatic a little. And I'm gonna basically increase the perspective as well. I'm gonna increase the perspective also, some like that. Okay, I'm gonna click on OK. I'm gonna go to Object, Expand. So basically, I'm gonna need to do the same thing. Actually, I'm gonna swap this from Fill to Stroke. I'm gonna decrease the stroke thickness to 0.25 see what is going on. So what I'm going to do is I select the direct selection tool, select these anchor points at the end and click here, cut path at selected anchor point. Click. Do the same thing at the other end. Right click on group and go with one. I'm going to delete the other one. Now there's like a lot of path on this. So I'm going to go to object, path, simplify. I think this is good. I'm gonna, yeah, now it's simplified it perfectly. From here, I'm gonna scale it down and increase the stroke thickness. Let me go back to one, two, two is good. I'm gonna go to the stroke profile, gonna change it to rounded. I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold Alt, and I'm gonna right click on this copy, go to arrange and send to back. It's very important that this copy to be on the back. I'm gonna select this one, I'm gonna recolor it actually. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to select both, go to Object, go to Blend and Make. So I'm going to double click here on the Blend tool, select Specify Steps, increase the numbers. I'm going to go with 40. Click OK. And from here, I'm going to swap the stroke to fill. So I'm going to swap it with the arrow. I'm going to click on the fill. I'm going to select the black color. I'm going to select from here the Rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle, something like this. I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back. So it's going to look something like this. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F on the rectangle or you can go to edit, paste in front. So we get like two copies like this. I'm going to right click on this, go to arrange, bring to front. Make sure to select the rectangle, press and hold shift and also select the letter S, right click, make clipping mask. So now we have a decent poster shape going on. I also gonna add some gradients. I gonna select the rectangle tool again and also as you can see we don't have anything on the field. I gonna go to the gradient, click on the gradient and I gonna double click on the white and go to the opacity, click on zero and I gonna swap it because this is the dark area and this is the light area so I gonna swap it now the left is dark, okay? And I'm gonna go to the appearance and change the appearance to multiply. So now as you can see this part is more darker, it starts to fade away. I think and to do the same thing with the bottom one, like this side. I'm gonna press the letter G, position this down, sound like this. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.